good morning y'all and welcome to the vlog um india if you guys are new so of course hit the like comment and the subscribe button while you're here so you guys can see i'm in the truck which means we are back on the road about to pull out i'm about to start my week uh, i got a bunch of groceries that i just put in the truck so we're about to put these groceries away and yeah we're about to head out um i don't know if i'm gonna take you guys completely on the road or if i'm just gonna open the vlog up a little bit and then come back home and get into something not really sure but of course y'all already know let that look fly out wherever i go y'all go so let's just get these things together on this truck before we pull out so this this is my little refrigerator that's on my truck and um i'm about to fill it up with some food so my boyfriend bought me groceries thankfully y'all know he's into fitness and i keep saying that I want to uh, eat healthy while I'm out here and it is not easy. I was not able to meal prep because I had a lot to do this weekend and so did he so we were not able to meal prep. So these are just a few things that I picked up like some little TV dinners. This is uh, honey roast turkey breast. Uh, I also picked up some no sugar added pineapple tidbits. Uh, what else we got in here? Got some single Swiss cheese. I'm gonna put this over here on the side. I'm gonna though. So it ain't really nothing too crazy. Um, Y'all know my refrigerator ain't but so big. And this is gonna be my first time actually using it while I'm on the road. So we are gonna see how this go. I guess I'm pretty much testing it out. So I didn't really go crazy with like foods. And this is the freezer part. I just turned this on and this thing is cold. It's cold already. Got me a case of water. Um, y'all let me know. I'm not really, um, the type that like cold water. I like my water room temperature. So we're not going to put too much in here. I want to say like two bottles probably. Oh, shoot. Actually, I can put it up there. So we'll put two and then we'll put one in the freezer. So, yeah. All right. That's that with all the cold stuff. Um, don't mind the truck, it's a mess. I have to make the bed and stuff. Gotta take this linen off and put fresh linen on. Oh, snap, I forgot I did buy some juice, so maybe we should put these in the fridge too. Probably like two or three. Um, we got some caramel rice cakes. What is this? Martin's potato bread. Got us some Welch's snacks. Uh, a box of peanuts. Planters, honey ruffle peanuts, a bag of cuties, um, cereal. I got me some honey nut cereal. I do not drink milk, so I eat my cereal plain, like chips, I guess. Um, we got a box of little bites. I already took one out and put it in the front. Ritz crackers, a box of part tarts. I've been looking for grape, but for some reason they don't sell grape in like the eight pack. I think you got to get 16 or more, and I didn't want that many. So we got blueberry, um, this variety pack of puffed and pop mix. This is like the um, healthy box, I guess. I see everything is like healthy. Uh, this bag got nothing but um, these on the go tuna kits. Absolutely love it because y'all know it comes with the crackers and the mayonnaise and the relish. So everything you need to make a tuna is there. Um, Honey mustard. This was my emergency water that I picked up from um, Dollar Tree that been on the truck. We got a couple of things of some chili, uh, hot sauce, cause sometimes I buy food on the road and I need hot sauce. And that's pretty much it. This is just one thing of emergency um, noodles in case I can't get nothing to eat and there's nothing else on this truck to eat. So yeah, I think that's it. I didn't get too much. Um, and yeah, I have to clean up this truck. Um, but I'm running behind, so we got to pull out. I'm headed up to Tampa. I'm like four and a half hours away. So once I pick up my load and I do my 30 minute break, I believe that's when we're going to go ahead and put everything away in these cabinets right here, which need to be cleaned out too. So we're going to put everything away and then I'm going to make my bed and put my clean sheets and things on a truck so yeah sorry that it looks a mess but this is just the reality of being a trucker y'all got my laptop bag 
so don't worry we are definitely editing while we're out here i got two vlogs that i've already pre-recorded trying to get this content out so y'all should get a vlog during the week and yeah let go because i gotta do my pre-trip and then we need to head out so i'll pick y'all back up probably once we do our 30 and put this stuff away to my channel then i i watch youtube while i drive like that is my entertainment that's my tv i watch the influencers that i love the channels that i love that's what i watch i may watch a podcast here and there if it's something that i'm into that i'm intrigued and i want to learn about i'll youtube and then see what i can learn about or whatever whether it's fixing credit if i want to learn about like real estate or whatever i'll google whatever i need as i want to know and i'll watch youtube videos as i'm driving so i'm watching youtube and I get a notification saying that somebody mentioned me. So I'm like, hmm? Huh? Because, baby, to get a shout out on YouTube, <laughs> you damn near gotta pay for it, baby. People ain't shouting you out. They not. So I'm like, what? I click the notification, y'all. Click the notification. Y'all can see, this my phone. In my phone, I watch YouTube just like this. I'll probably turn it to the side while I'm driving so it shows the long way. And this is how I, I ride with my GPS running sometimes underneath it. So I look, and what does that say? What do it say? Platinum D mentioned you an hour ago on her most recent blog. Y'all. Like, what? When I tell you, baby, this trailer was swinging left, right, right, left. Let me see you to it, left, do it, right. I, baby, the truck was swinging because I was just like, me? Y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you so much, Platinum D, for the shout out. Like, I, I'm so speechless and forever humble. Y'all, I'm... I, when I tell you I love Platinum D, I've been watching her for a while. And in this YouTube community, it is hard, extremely hard to get support from people that look like us. It is. Like, it is. I mean, I don't know what is it about people supporting one another, but it is extremely, extremely hard. And I know... I've watched videos where Platinum have did dedicated videos about YouTubers that she's loved. And I've, that's how I found a lot of YouTubers that I, you know, began to love as well. So just to get a mention from an OG, I'm talking about like one of the first black female beauty influencers. Like, and she's still in the game, like holding it down. Like, I, I'm, I, <laughs> I'm so speechless because I, when I watch other content creators, or like how I went to Chelsea's event recently, if I go to something or if I shout you out or if I'm on your channel, it's because I genuinely love you. I genuinely enjoy your content. I'm not a dick rider. I don't do nothing for shout outs. I don't do nothing for mentions. I don't do nothing for link ups. I don't do nothing for collaborations. I genuinely enjoy their content. I genuinely enjoy Platinum D. So for her to even, acknowledge me like y'all she's reached she's been commenting on my videos and stuff and i was just like oh like when i see the comments i was just so speechless like oh snap like she she notices me like okay like it's so 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 hard for me just to know that somebody don't mind sharing their platform with you like they don't mind shouting you out like i didn't have to do nothing spectacular for it but be me be myself, keep pushing out my content. Like, I'm so, this just made my whole day. Like, I'm parked, I just finished driving. We done made it down from um, Miami. I picked up in Tampa. I'm at the top of Georgia, like close to Tifton, Georgia. Uh, I'm headed down to College Park, Georgia. So, um, yeah, I was so, I couldn't wait to pull this damn truck over and share this news with y'all, cause what? Like, let me, let me just let y'all hear what she said about your girl, cause what? And it's up from here, like, when I tell you sometimes I have my days where I be like, oh my God, 
God, like I'm stressed out. Y'all know I be running from on the road, back home, trying to get content. But baby, if this wasn't the motivation that I need to keep on going, <laughs> I don't know what else. But if you guys came over from her, thank you so much. I know I already get notifications. Like people are already, notif like notifications are already coming in saying Platinum D sent me. Like they are actually coming and I am forever grateful. And when I tell you, I am, I'm very grateful, very grateful because they don't have to do that. They don't have to share their platform. They're not obligated to, they're not obligated to go back out and, and, you know, recognize small content creators. They're not, they're not obligated to do nothing. Like they're not. So for them to share their platforms with me, all I can say is thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But we finna get into what my girl said about me because I was just up here like I I I I was speechless because I didn't know what the mention was gonna be about. Like I don't because y'all know my last vlog I went and I bought those perfumes because I was watching her video and like I told y'all she is the plug to makeup, she's the plug to wigs, she's the plug to restaurant stuff to do in Dallas, Texas. She is the plug to perfume. So I went and I bought a whole bunch of perfume off of Amazon store. And I was just like, what did I do? <laughs> what I did wrong? <laughs> Cause y'all know my girl don't mind speaking her mind. So I, I I was just like, hold on now, I hope I ain't, I ain't pissed my little auntie off. But I'm so grateful. Um I'm, I'm I'm speechless. I I <laughs> I'm about to go to bed real good tonight after I finish fixing up back there. But let me just show y'all what she said about me. And I was just, I was just, I was just really happy. So yeah, let's get into it. But make it like work, huh? Yeah, this is who I have been working lately. She's a female truck driver. She bad as hell. She natural. She got good content. She's sweet. Check her out. Her channel is um, You Love India. I will link it in the description box. Run over there right now and tell her I sent you. You guys don't know how much it helps a channel to just subscribe to them. Just go over there, subscribe, help her out, get her numbers up more. And I hope you enjoy her content like I do. I really don't know what Y'all like. Because <laughs> y'all know. Baby, baby, when I tell y'all for to be flying down this road tomorrow, like, yeah, girl. Oh my God, I'm so happy. That literally made my day. Like, I was not expecting that. I didn't ask for that. I didn't I, I didn't do nothing to, to even try to get that. I'm just, I'm grateful because baby, if y'all don't know the power of platinum, <laughs> I know the power because I done see what she done did for other content creators. Trust me, I know. I been watching content creators and when Platinum D shot them out, baby, they take off. So, God, if it's for me, <laughs> baby, I was touching the green and, re and we'll receive, okay? So, thank you so much. Like, oh my God, I love you. I am so appreciative. Like, I, woo, we ain't gonna cry. We are not gonna cry. But you guys know, like, in this type of feel of work with being a content creator it's not easy and like she said like y'all know it is really hard to be noticed um by other content creators by viewers by um brands it is just really hard and you have to put in the work i've been on youtube for about i want to say three years about three years um unintentionally this stuff fell in my lap like if you guys watch any of my old videos on my blogs y'all know that i did not um come on youtube with hopes of becoming a content creator or nothing like that like this literally fell in my lap i came on here talking about trucking i knew nothing about vlogging i knew nothing about lifestyle i knew nothing about getting paid from youtube baby i came on here with the what is called youtube for dummies <laughs> baby that with me youtube for dummies because i ain't no nathan okay but um thank you thank you thank you thank you i just i don't know what else to say um i i'm forever grateful this will definitely be one of the most highlighted moments in my youtube career because yeah i i'm 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 grateful and it's only up for you but I'm about to eat my food because I don't warm it up that day. I see the microwave is on. So I'm about to eat my food. But 
I was too ecstatic to share this news with y'all because what? Who got an honorable mention? Who? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nah, but thank you guys for watching and thank you to any new subscribers that came over from her. So yeah, y'all. I was so anxious to tell y'all that because I was too excited at the moment. I couldn't wait to pull over. But on my way coming here, y'all, I lost a side mirror. <laughs> a hood mirror, y'all. Not the not the actual mirror, but the cap. I'm going to show y'all. So y'all see that? There's one on each side. A hood mirrors. They help you stay in your lane. And it also lets you see like oncoming traffic in like a blind spot. So it's one on each side. I'm about to get out and show y'all what... I'm talking about because baby when I tell you I'm angry I am so angry but y'all I'm so mad about that because as a female driver I take pride in my truck, baby. When I tell you I take pride in my truck, I take pride in my truck because I feel like as a female truck driver, a lot of male truck drivers, they like to underplay us. Like we like we can't do what they do. Like some of them be envious that females are in the industry. So baby, I like my truck to be in tip, not shape. Like I don't like nothing bent. I don't like nothing broken. I don't want no dents. I don't want nothing crash. I don't want no nothing. I want my truck to look brand spanking new. So they, they know baby, I don't hit nothing. Like <laughs> I know how to handle this thing. So when that fell off, I was pissed because it's going to look like I hit something and broke my mirror when that wasn't even the case. It fell completely off. So I meant to show y'all on the other one, it happened to that one. And um, when I got my truck repaired somewhere, I asked him to fix it and he actually put it back on and um, drilled two screws on the side so it don't fall off again. So I'm going to have to do that again. Um, if I go to a repair shop somewhere, I'm going to let them... Ah, I got another notification. Hey, Platinum D told me to come over and check you out. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Don't play with me. I'm excited. I'm so excited, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited. But, um... Yeah, I um I have to get that other mirror fixed because it's gonna bother me. Like I would hate for somebody to think I don't know what I'm doing, or I can't drive, or I can't back. Cause baby, <laughs> I do this. So yeah, I'm, I'm slightly pissed about that. But um, other than that, I don't have no other updates for y'all. I'm too excited. Like I, I'm very excited. I I. <laughs> Also overjoyed. I don't know what else to do from here. I got to I got to share with my boyfriend. I can't wait to let him know. Like, baby, like your girl got shout out by one of the biggest, the biggest in the industry. Like, you know how you know how Nicki Minaj shout out like another. That's how it feel. Like you like you just got a shout out from Nicki or Cardi. Like somebody like I'm a new rapper in the game, and an OG just shout you out. It's the same thing for you too. When you get a shout out by an OG and somebody that's well respected, well known, well established, that's out here and they doing a the thing, and they shout you out, it's the same thing. It's like you get initiated. Like I, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm so happy, dog. But um, I'm about to go ahead and eat my food. I got a lot of stuff to do. I currently need to edit a vlog also while I'm out here. Um, actually two vlogs I may not even be able to end it today because I'm pressed for time this load has to get delivered at 10 in the morning I get my time back at 5 I'm like 3 hours away but Georgia traffic is crazy like what Atlanta Atlanta tra traffic is crazy so I need to get up a little bit more early to get myself time so that I you know if I have traffic I'm not late for my load so yeah we're about to clean up this truck all this I'm probably not going to take y'all nowhere else on the road because we we don't really want to be pushing out no truck of content. So, uh, what I'm going to do is probably pick y'all back up once we get home. And we are going to um, get into some things when I get back home. So, yeah. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah.
thank you again if you guys came over from Platinum D. I hope y'all enjoy the content. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Y'all my camera. Hello? Well, you don't want to be the one being babysitting. You got my text? Yeah, I'm excited. She's natural. She's pretty. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You heard her. Yeah, you heard her. I know. 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 Y'all don't. Please don't come for me. Yes. Mm hmm Yes. We are broke down again. Yes, we are. We are. <laughs> I want to cry, but let me show y'all. All right. So, I had a cooling leak. I don't know what the F is going on. All this cooling just be thawed out just now. This is crazy. So, it was a little bit more here, but it's not overheating. The temperature gauge just never rose, so it was never no rising temperature. I don't know what the hell happened. But when I unscrew this top off of the radi off the off the top, when I take the top off to put the cooling in, let's see if it does it again. More fluid keeps the liquid keeps leaking from down there. And I cannot see. I cannot see what that is. Let me see. All right, let's take this. Unscrew this to see if it happens again. Yeah, see? As soon as I unplug it, look, unscrew it. It's leaking. Let me close it back up. I don't know. I'm thinking it, it gotta be a hose. This is a lot. It has to be a hose. Lord Jesus. Is that the engine right there? Can y'all see it pouring from there? Right there. That is where the leak is coming. I don't know. Yes, that's one of the heads. Wow. 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Y'all, I'm so frustrated. I don't even want to be on camera. That's how frustrated I am. I reached out to my dispatch. I mean, I called Breakdown. They're about to send somebody out to come tow me. It is a Saturday. Today is, I think, March 29th. And yeah, I was headed to North Carolina, leaving from Atlanta to go deliver this load. Uh, it delivers tomorrow at 12, but child, Tomorrow is Sunday and dealerships are not open on Sunday. So I have no idea um, what's gonna happen or um, or what, if they're gonna send another driver to come pick up this load or, or what? Cause they have to tow both the trailer and the truck and I am loaded. So yeah, this is gonna be the first time that I've ever got towed with a loaded trailer. So we shall see <sighs> what happens, but yeah. <laughs> oh goodness gracious alright y'all the tow truck is here hello hey it's Justin hey I'm about to head out I'm just seeing if there was an update I hadn't seen anything come from you over the tablet uh, the tow truck literally just pulled up so he's about to hook up to the truck now so I guess they're going to tow it uh, I don't know about like a hotel. Do you, do you know where they're towing it to? Uh it is all self-driven yard jockey trucks. Oh really? Yeah. There is no 
no drivers on their yard moving trailers and putting them in docks. It is actually. Oh, they have trucks, Chris. I'm thinking you deliver you run other drivers here before. Hell yeah. Oh, okay, because you know exactly what to do, where to go. Well, most time the company send them to the quality. Is that one better? Let me find out. They just. <laughs> in my in my opinion, no. This uh, is better. Okay. Uh, quality in over there used to be a big, more or less, drug house. Oh, okay. Well, no, we like where we're at. Then. <laughs> um, this one ain't so bad. I mean, it ain't the greatest. I had to choose between the three. I'll probably choose the Holiday Inn. Oh, okay. But being won't be close to food and stuff. I'll rather be on this side, so I would choose. Oh, that's what you meant by the bridge, crossing the bridge there. Okay. Yeah, because that, that building over there, that, that's the holiday. Oh, okay. So you would have to cross the 85 bridge right there. Oh, okay. They probably wanted more money. That's why they Yeah. They, they're like 96 or 100. I think they're $106 a night, where this is like, I think, 90 90 something, $92 a night or something. Uh, this is cheaper than that. But this is more expensive than quality. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> it don't get used that often, though. It's still stiff. <laughs> Actually, let me check my little tablet. They gave me a crew fax number. Is that something that you need? Oh, it's COC. Um, okay, so the crew fax number is 244. You need my ID? Okay, no problem. It's right here. I'm, I'm kind of happy because <laughs> I get to stay in a hotel and take a nice shower. So, yeah, <laughs> I've been on the road for two weeks. So, yeah, this is kind of like a luxury. It's kind of good and bad. I'm not getting paid. Well, I, I get paid something, but not as much as I was actually running. So, but to be in a bed feels really good outside of that bed in the back of the truck. So, <laughs> so I'm not complaining. Okay. This has the Wi Fi password. The remote, we have a full hot breakfast, 6 to 10. Uh -huh. We do have a business and a fitness center on site. Okay. The, and the one with the white, that's your room number. Okay. We made it to the hotel. Two, look like full size beds. Yeah, two full size. What is this? This queen? Okay, double beds. Not bad. TV. Damn, it's hanging. It's hanging, but it's there, hell. It's crooked, but it's there. What else we have? We got microwave. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and we got refrigerator. Okay, I could have bought my stuff. Is it locked? Damn, is it? Oh, okay. Damn, I could have got a phone. Complimentary water. Okay. Oh, we got a plug here. All right. the only light we got. We have a mirror. Okay. We like that. We have this little mirror. Okay. I need a little bit more light in here. Okay. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I know I look crazy. Y'all finally get to see my face. I need to take a shower, which is why I'm sitting here and have not touched the bed yet because a shower? 
<laughs> it's definitely needed, like real, real bad. Um, so my truck broke down, as you guys seen. It is um, what is it? The pump. My pump is out, so they have to um fix it on Monday because it's the weekend. Nothing is open tomorrow, so Monday it goes in the shop, so it had to be towed. It's towed to the shop. So um, they're going to look at it first thing Monday morning. Hopefully, it's fixed the same day, and we can get back rolling. So in trucking, when you are a company driver, for those who are new, your company puts you in a hotel. They pay for it. Everything is paid for. Um, and yeah, so they pick the hotel. You don't get to pick because, of course, they're not going to be paying two, $300 a night. So they're going to pick the most decent, not all the time. And the cheapest rooms that they can find. So I'm at the Comfort Inn. I am in North Carolina. I'm at the top of North Carolina at that. Like I'm not even like really in. I literally had just crossed the border from South Carolina to North Carolina. So I'm at North Carolina uh, at this Comfort Inn. And yeah, I'm here for two nights. Well, it's booked for two nights because tomorrow is Sunday. So Sunday and then Monday. So yeah, um, hopefully my truck is ready and then we can pull back out and continue rolling. But if this is a small town, like I'm at the top, like literally at the beginning, like the welcome center is like literally three miles, four miles up, three exits up. So I'm not sure if it's Uber and stuff. Like it's not really that much of anything around here, but I am um, close enough in proximity to a lot of restaurants. I saw a Starbucks. I think I saw McDonald's. He said there is a... Um, Waffle House, there's also Bojangles. So there are things that are walking distance, which I love because that means we don't have to pay for Uber because if you are into trucking, you guys know a breakdown with Uber is, yeah, paying for food and rides is expensive. My bad, I had to make more storage. But yeah, I posted my breakdown on my Instagram. So people within the truck community have been hitting me up. They're either, they've either been suggesting what's wrong with my truck or they have been like checking up on me as you know you should but um yeah one of my girls i don't know if you guys know black girl rave she used to be on youtube she's have stopped putting out content she hit me up and was like she'll be in charlotte in the morning and when i put in charlotte charlotte is like 40 minutes from away from here i don't know if she's driving or not i don't know if sis may want to come here and pick me up honestly i may have to decline the offer because I look a mess, hence the reason why my goddamn safety jacket is on my head, if you did not notice. <laughs> yeah, I look horrible. And I don't got no clothes. Like, I got on, well, I'm about to take a bath. I brought one outfit, cause I sleep naked, and hopefully that's not TMI. So I'm really not gonna wear my clothes that I did bring. I'm gonna be in the room, free balling. And then when it's time for me to go pick up the truck, I have something to put on. So I didn't bring much clothes. And I'm the type of person, baby, y'all know I like to put that on. I do. And I don't want to be around the town looking like, and then I see somebody that be like, that's India? That's a girl from YouTube? And I don't be on my ish? Like, mm -mm, I can't do that. So I may have to decline the offer. And then she watching me poo. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm sorry. I got to stand on business. Like, I can't be walking around any kind of way. So I may have to decline that offer. I'll probably just stay in the hotel room and wait until my company call me and let me know. <sighs> my truck is ready. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I may pick up the phone and go live with y'all while I'm here on my breakdown. So you guys may know about my breakdown before I even post this vlog. But if not, yeah. So let me go ahead and take a bow, wind down, unpack a little bit of stuff I did bring. Brought my laptop bag, which I need to get a new one, more aesthetically pleasing one. But until then, this is the one I have for now. So I need to get another laptop bag. Brought my laptop so I'm able to edit because I do have another pre-recorded um, vlog that I could be in here putting together. And I do believe she said there is a Wi-Fi code on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we got Wi-Fi. Or how y'all said, Wi-Fi. We got Wi-Fi. So, <laughs> yeah. Um... I'll just be relaxing and like I told the receptionist, I'm not even really mad about this breakdown because a bath and this awesome comfort was definitely well needed because this week has been a hell of a week. But I'll pick you guys back up maybe when we go out and explore.
Hi, I'm a guest here upstairs in room, I think I'm in 204. I wanted to know, do you guys by any chance have like any um, charger pieces for sale at the front desk? Okay, and there's nothing close by that I can go and purchase one? Oh, no, by the time I walk there, because I don't have a vehicle, it'll be closed. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'll, um, I'll see if I can find something. If not, I'll just wait till tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. I'm on here looking crazy. I know y'all probably like, girl, really? I I was feeling come on camera looking crazy. So, again, we back with the safety vest on the head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, I'm fresh out the shower. And I'm sitting here trying to charge up my phones. And I realized that I don't have any chargers. The pieces. I have all my plugs. But, you know, I'm in a truck. I use um, cigarette chargers. So, that's all I have on my truck. I thought I had my traveling charger in here, but I don't. So I need to try to figure out getting a charger because this phone is dying. My other phone is at a half a battery. So yeah, um, it's already late. It's like 10 o'clock right now. I'm just going to take it to bed because I know I'm not going to be able to um, get a charger tonight. And I'm actually kind of scared to leave the room being that he said, you know, about the drug selling and stuff between the hotels and stuff. And my next door neighbor was a guy and he was trying to like hit on me in the elevator and asking am I by myself or am I with my boyfriend? And I'm just like, yeah, my boyfriend is, is with me. And I did not even notice that we we're really next door to each other. So that kind of like blew me. And it also has my safety antennas up. So yeah, we have to be very much careful and cautious because I do watch a lot of um those missing people series and stuff on YouTube. And yeah, I think it's North or South Carolina. Either one of them, they always pop up the most. So, yeah, I'm I'm scared a little bit. I am. So, we have to be on our P's and Q's because I am here alone. And I don't know anybody here. So, with that being said, the safety lock is definitely on the door. But, y'all, wash my hair. Don't have no clips or anything. Y'all know we just put a black dye on this hair. I told y'all, you know, I love jet black hair. So, I went ahead and put it down, y'all. The hair started falling out while I was taking a shower. So, the tips of the hair got wet. Get out the shower, start drying off, y'all. Why is it black dye all over these people freaking towel? Guess what? It's going back in my shower bag for the truck because they ain't gonna charge me for this. They gonna they finna be short of towel because I am not leaving this here to show proof that I did this. No, we're not doing that. And I was watching my girl Lori Diva vlog and she was saying she had booked a hotel and they told her that they charge $25 per rag if it's makeup on a rag. Girl, you ain't even charging $25. So guess what? She going right in the bag. When I go back to the truck, she coming with me. So yeah. Anywho, um, we're going to get up in the morning and I have to go get a charger piece because yeah, there's no way I can stay here and not be able to charge any of my electronics. So yeah, I guess I'll pick you guys back up in the morning and we'll probably start on North, I'm in South Carolina, North Carolina. I just left South. We in North Carolina. I guess we'll start our adventures tomorrow. I'm gonna get up and get breakfast because there is a Waffle House across the street. And I checked and there's a Walgreens. It says four minute drive. So it's probably a 10 minute walk. So yeah, um, I don't even know if I grabbed any of my safety stuff out of the truck, like my taser my knife and stuff but yeah anywho let me go ahead and um check in with my man wind down <sighs> i'll pick y'all back up tomorrow hey y'all so it is the next day it is what time is it 11 35 in the morning your girl just took her a nice little scroll down the block because i needed to get a charger so i went to dollar general which was open oh excuse me and I had to go get me a charger because if not, nobody would have been able to get in contact with me, not even my job. Um, so I needed to go get a charger. So we went to Dollar General, got us some chargers. You guys can see. So we got this right here and it has two outlets because I have two phones. 
So I got this. Thankfully, I didn't have to buy two separate chargers because it has the two USB openings. Um, so yeah, as soon as I plugged it up, this phone came right on. So we're happy. Um, I'm probably going to be here till maybe Tuesday because tomorrow they're going to fix the truck. I don't know how long it takes for a water pump to be fixed, but praying we can pull out maybe Monday afternoon. If we could, that will be awesome. If not, Tuesday morning is fine. I still have to get me another load to get the hell up out of here because my load has been recovered. Um, I woke up this morning to my tablet and they did send another driver to take on my load and go ahead and deliver it today. And I believe she said that that driver is supposed to leave me an empty trailer. So therefore, I don't have to go find me a trailer or go back to like a DC or somewhere and go get a trailer because we don't have any yards or anything here in North Carolina. So yeah, um, I also picked up bag of chips y'all not sure be eating this stuff and i got a box of oatmeal pies a pack of now latest lord knows i shouldn't eat it and then i had picked up three um like litter bottles of cran apple and cran mango juice so they're in the refrigerator there so they can be cold um i don't want to come back out my room anymore because the neighbors next door they're giving very much illegal activity vibes yeah like this morning a whole different guy came out of that room and i'm just like y'all ain't giving gay vibes y'all look like y'all some y'all y'all some street boys and two guys in one room let's be real so yeah and then he came out with like his pajamas on and he got on the elevator with me and i'm just i didn't say anything and i'm just like mm, okay y'all know i'm on my I'm, I'm on my own um, my little watch y'all i'm watching for any type of unusual activities because i'm scared but we are about to go to Waffle House because Waffle House is, it says, a mile away. So we're going to go out and go get us some breakfast because I'm hungry in here. I didn't bring anything off my truck. I didn't know they were going to have a microwave or a refrigerator because I could have just brought some of the things from the truck to the room. But it's cool. I don't know if y'all seen that when it got me a hat out of Dollar Tree. Also, because, yeah, there's no way in hell I was going to walk around with a safety jacket on my head. So... Mm hmm Yeah, we went and got us a hat. Um, what else? I think that's it. They have a gym here. And I'm tempted to go play in it. <laughs> Keyword play, because I don't even think I'm going to be in there getting it down, because I only bring one outfit out of the truck. So if I go in the gym and I sweat this outfit out, I'm going to be screwed. And I'm not going to Dollar General to buy no clothes. So we might have to just exit that out. Uh, I'm going to respond to some comments while I'm sitting here waiting for these phones to charge because I don't want to leave the room again with a dead phone because anything can happen. And I also need to vlog because I'm vlogging on this phone. So I guess I'll pick y'all back up when we're going to Waffle House. All right, y'all. Let's go see where this um, Waffle House is. Y'all can see the sign is right there. So that means we are literally a few steps away. It's the front of the hotel. So yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm excited to get out the room. Thankfully, when I left the room, those guys next door to me are probably gone already. So it was pretty quiet. And of course, people are looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm vlogging. And I don't know if this is um, something that they used to up here in North Carolina. But anywho, we are about to go get us some breakfast. And it is it's like three something in the afternoon right now. But I still want to walk the house. So, yeah, that's where we're going. As you guys can see, it's not even that far. So, it's a hotel right here. Very comforting. And literally, right here is the Waffle House. So, yeah. Not that bad of a walk. And there's only, what, four cars in a parking lot? Which means that it's not even crowded. Which is a good thing because when I woke up this morning to go get the charger and I walked to the Dollar General up the road, this parking lot was full. So I guess it probably went in my favor that I'm uh, coming in this late. So yeah, and I'm able to get my steps in so we ain't complaining. 
We are not complaining at all. It's a beautiful day in North Carolina. You guys can see. It's 83 degrees. Woo! Let's get some in. the next day and when I tell you I have been going through it oh my god the pollen is spring and oh my god when I tell you baby whoo I'm about to snatch this goddamn nose off and go to turkey and get a new one this thing oh my lord this has been the worst oh god all week before my breakdown oh god my allergies have been killing me i look a hot mess but at this point i don't give a damn child a wig done slid back it's up oh <laughs> baby <laughs> baby baby the wig done slid back child that's how much i've been i do and that shit just been sliding and sliding and sliding but baby don't worry when we get back in town we gonna we gonna fit let me actually let us pull this up for real for real and that's the reason why I went and bought me a hat. Child, we look a mess. But, no, seriously, the pollen has been killing me, y'all. Oh, my God. My nose is raw. I don't know if y'all can see. It's raw as hell. My nose is so raw. Um, I'm still stuck here. It's Monday. It's the first day um, that the shop was open, so they're about to start the repairs. So, um, I wrote my dispatch today because I haven't got the follow-up. He said he wrote um, the shop, too, to find out about a follow-up, and he haven't got anything back yet. So, I'm waiting. Hopefully, tomorrow it's ready because I'm ready to go. I'm in North Carolina. Oh, my God. And the allergies are killing me. Killing me, killing me, killing me. I'm about to go walk the Dollar General. I just don't feel like walking back out there. I don't. Because as soon as I left out this hotel and I hit that corner, baby, when I tell you I was sneezing back to back like 10 times, and I'm not even exaggerating, baby, if I go down there and they tell me they got a complaint on my room, I wouldn't even be mad. 
I would not be mad. I just be like, I am so sorry because the way I was wheezing and sneezing and blowing my nose, baby, I know they probably thought I was over here with a studio. They probably thought it was a, a fucking trumpet going off over here because I was, mm, 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 bitch, I'm telling you, I was about to tear his nose off. I sure was. I was. I was about to tear it off. But child, oh my God. I've been crying from sneezing so much, sneezing, sneezing. My eyes are a little puffy. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on with me. Between that and this goddamn Amber Alert that keep going off, I don't know who the fuck has a black Jeep Cherokee. I don't know who you took. I don't know who you stole. I don't know what you did, but baby, they is looking for you. And every morning, my phone goes off with a fucking Amber Alert. At like 9, 10 o'clock, my phone goes off about the Amber Alert. So, yeah, that has been my experience with my breakdown and me being in this damn hotel. But other than that, I guess I'm not going to complain because I have a room to myself. I even have an extra bed. You guys seen that? Um, I brought my laptop. I've been talking to my man. I went and got my charger. So we're, you know, we good. Thankfully, I had picked up a few snacks the first day I came when I did walk down there to the Dollar General and got the charger. So I have like juice in there and uh, like a bag of chips and stuff. Nothing too crazy. Um, But yeah, um, I'm ready to go. I am. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be up out of here because, yeah, I'm going through it. I need to go find me some Zyrtec or some Claritin. Because, babe, I, I can't. I can't. I just can't. Ah, that, baby. My nose is so raw. Even my lip is raw because I've been using this towel in the bed with me to just sneeze in and blow my nose in. And because the towel is covering everything, it keeps rubbing. My whole lips right here is raw. My nose is raw. All this is raw, baby. I look like Pinocchio. <laughs> But it's all good. Um, like I said, I hope tomorrow we have an update. Some type of good news. Um, this weekend coming up is my hometown weekend. So I should be getting some loads headed home. Um, as much as I don't want to kind of go home. Because I don't miss out on a lot of money from being broke down. I kind of want to stay running. But... Um, I want to go to the youth fair because the youth fair this weekend is the last weekend for the youth fair. So I wanted to go to the youth fair and I also wanted to possibly take my mom to dinner. Um, my mom had a knee replacement last year. Was it last year? I think, no, maybe it was the beginning of last year. It's like a year ago, a year and a half ago. She had a, a knee replacement and, um, for whatever reason, I don't know what happened with the knee. I don't. I think it's something about the size that they put for the cap that they replaced the knee with. I think it's either too big or too small. Whatever it is, it's not healing correctly. So they have to go back in and redo the knee replacement, open it up, and re put in another another knee. So um, I wrote her. I think she said her. I think she said her um, surgery is April seventh. So. That means if I don't be able to take her to dinner and, like, spend time with her before the surgery, I won't see her to after the surgery. And then she's going to be out for the count because that surgery is very, 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 yeah, it's very, um, it's a really, really, really serious surgery. So I know the downtime is going to be crazy, which means I probably would just have to be go to the house and check up on her and, like, you know, do little errands or something possibly or bring stuff over to the house. So I wanted to like take her out and do something with her before the surgery. Um, she doesn't know. I haven't told her because it's not a for sure thing because of this breakdown. I'm not sure. Um, but that's my plan. So hopefully my truck is ready and yeah, I'll probably pick y'all back up once the truck is ready and then we'll make our way home. And then hopefully we get to, um, Y'all may get to meet my mom. Y'all have my mom was actually featured in a vlog about two years ago, a Mother's Day vlog. But um, I don't know if she wants to be on camera or not. She does watches my vlogs, but I don't know if she wants to be on camera. So if she don't, then y'all to just see the interaction and y'all to see the food and stuff. 
Um, and if she do, then you guys will get to meet my mom. But yeah, that is my plan. So yeah, hopefully everything goes as planned. And we can help you get the hell up out of here because baby, I'm sneezing and wheezing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to go ahead and finish blowing this goddamn trumpet and I'll pick y'all back up hopefully when the truck is ready. Hey, hi. just a quick question. I was, is it that? Okay. I just wanted to know an update from my room. I just want to make sure that it's still fine because I'm about to go get breakfast and I don't want them to come knock on the door and say that it, it's not updated before I leave out. I'm not sure how long they extended it for. Yes, you need to be Okay, no problem. To tomorrow? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you need the key again? Okay, yes, I have Let's go to go? Okay, thank you. All right, y'all, so we are good to go until tomorrow. I got my sunscreen on, so if I look like Casper, <laughs> that way. All right. But we're about to take our scroll again to the Waffle House, and then we're going to go to Dollar General. some medicine. I think I'm gonna get the medicine first and then go um to a walk house. So yeah. We're good for tomorrow morning though so hopefully my truck is ready tomorrow. Um so yeah. Pick out my good. At this point, I just want another fucking truck. Like, I just picked this truck up 30 minutes ago. Picked up a trailer. And I am fucking broke down again. Broke down again. This is fucking crazy. 